all right guys well i didn't charge my gopro it's about dead so we'll make this quick we're back out at the place where we mowed with the tractor you can kind of see you know how that embankment kind of goes up pretty quick i mean uh, that's like 20 foot maybe we got to mow these hills over here all the way stuff up to the timber up to the timber up to the timber there's some stuff over there we need to mow there's some other work that we need to look at while we're out here um anyways we're gonna we're gonna try to get this knocked out let me get the charger on this camera we'll get you guys on the glass i'll take the tripod get a little bit different shots uh you guys tell me do you like it on the glass do you like uh watching me mow with a tripod and you can see the machine out there or what let me know i don't know what views you guys like uh shoot me some comments and let me know but uh let's get in the machine get it fired up and let's get going
just got done mowing the hillside job. Um, looks like we're going to have a lot more work in there. We're going to maintain that every 30 or 45 days, it looks like. Um, which, that'd be kind of nice. Um, but I, the maintenance guy stopped me a couple times, and I didn't even think about doing my closing video. Uh, sorry about that, but I figured I'd show you. It's It was a, it said 100, um, but 99 degrees. Holy cow. 100% humidity. It is so hot outside, it feels like it's melting your skin off. Um, and I just wanted to tell you, that little Kubota surprises me all the time in that heat. Granted, I don't have a hydraulic temp gauge. I might be cooking the hydraulic oil. I don't know. Um, but every time I turn around, that thing, you know, we're mowing in, in crazy hot crazy hot heat. And I'm sitting there brush hogging and things just going along and it, it doesn't run hot at all. I was really worried about that machine having that belt drive uh, fan and no reversing fan and all that. But I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't shy anybody away from it. Um, we are having a problem with it. The tech from Coleman came out and looked at it. Looks like we've probably got number number four injector starting to fail. Um, apparently on these 65s, they don't fail hard like the 75 and 95s um, to where it's got a dead hole. Mine's doing the same thing as what Corey's was doing. And I've got two other guys that I talked to um, either via YouTube or uh, the Facebook Kubota page or something. Um, there's a couple other guys that said, hey, we know you mow with your mower a lot. Uh, does your machine do this? And I said, yes, I've got, I think I've got an injector dropping, um, but it's so intermittent, it's hard for them to, hard for them to figure out. So the tech came out today. Um, he, uh, he said that there's a, a clear and, a, a clear, you know, indifference in injector four um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I guess they have to pull the injectors out and send them in, get them tested. I mean, it only does it when it's hot, so the injector's going to test good. Um, Kubota's going to have to figure something else out on these injectors, but because I know that uh, Corey and I and the two other guys that I know, I know we're not the only four that have a problem with the 65. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it means that I should go to a 75, have a little more horsepower, and then if something goes wrong with it, it's, it's you know, uh, a major issue, and they can test the injector and it tests bad. I don't know. I don't think it'd be bad to have a 75. Um, we're actually we're probably going to have a 75 as a loaner while they have our machine, because it's supposed. It, he said it's probably going to take a month or so to get our machine back. Um, just because of the warranty processes and stuff like that. Maybe he's, you know, telling me that because he doesn't want to scare me when my machine sits there forever. Um, but I'd rather him tell me it's going to be there for a month and a half and they only have it for three weeks than the latter. Um, but uh, anyway, so maybe we'll have some comparison video of a 75 mowing compared to a 65. I don't know. I might use the 75 and be like, you know what? I want a 75 or I might be like damn it I want my 65 back running correctly um, anyways but you guys have a good day I just wanted to tell you that this is the closing of the video normally I do it at the at the job site but we're doing it in the truck we're doing it in Godzilla Godzilla's doing good let's see what the mileage is I've been pulling a bunch 10.3 miles a gallon over almost 5,000 miles so that's not bad that's not bad that's one mile less a gallon than i used to get in my six seven in my 2015. um anyways i'll i'll take that all day long even though uh now diesel fuel is coming down now that i bought a gas engine so all you diesel guys you're welcome um all right well please like and subscribe hit the notification button as always and uh take a look at my next video and you guys that watch my videos all the time, uh, shoot me a comment and let me know. Do you like on the glass better? Or do you like some of the some of the uh, tripod video? Which, which would you guys prefer? Um, I've just been doing on the glass just because it seems like my GoPros are always dead. But I've got a battery I can plug into it if it is dead. So if you guys like the tripod better, I'll get more of that footage. 
um, or drone footage. I I just don't send my drone up all the time, but um, I love drone footage. But um, anyways, it is kind of a task to get it to go up and go down, and I'm not very good at it. So, and I also want to apologize for the uh, the video video quality lately. I don't know what the deal is. I haven't done anything different with my GoPros. They're all set the same. They're all everything. The only thing I did is I edit my movies in iMovie. And I had to update iMovie the other day. And I don't know, maybe it changed the setting of where it, it pulls it over from my Mac to, to into iMovie or something. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. So bear with me. I know some of my videos have been grainy, and I don't like that at all. Um, it's all downloaded at 1080 by 60. Uh, I, I, I don't understand it. I, and again, I'm not a techie. I'll come run your equipment, but you know, I kind of stumble through doing iMovie and editing movies and stuff. So, anyways, um, we'll see you guys later. You have a good day.